Well, hello. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for being here with me. It's time for our Sunday School lesson. Of course, the good news is, is that you can watch this on any day of the week, but it's the Sunday School lesson that we would have had this Sunday, August 2nd, if we were able to get together and have Sunday School at church. If you remember where we are in the big story, the last time we talked, Abraham had found a wife for his son Isaac. And you should learn that story, you should know that story. But Isaac wound up falling in love with and marrying a young woman named Rebecca. And they were very happy together. And for a long time, it was just the two of them, Isaac and Rebecca. They didn't have any babies of their own, but they loved each other and they had a very happy and had a good life. And then suddenly, Rebecca was pregnant. And she was pregnant with twins. There were two babies in her. And those babies fought with each other inside Rebecca all the time. They made life so hard. And Rebecca thought she was not going to make it. And she asked God, what's going on? And God said, there's two nations inside you. And the younger will serve, or the older will serve the younger. Well, that's sort of an interesting thing to hear from God, isn't it? So Rebecca held on and she made it through the pregnancy and the babies were born. And the first baby that came out, remember they were twins, the first baby that came out was all covered with red hair. He looked like a little monkey. So they named him Esau, right? Means red. And then, and Harry, I think, yeah, red, Harry, one of those. And then the second baby came out, clutching, holding on to his brother's heel. And they named him Jacob, which means grasper. Sometimes it means cheater. But grasper and furry were these two boys. And they lived together and they fought all the time. Oh, they learned how to work. They took care of their parents' cattle. They, they, they had their own hobbies. Esau grew into a young man who loved to hunt. He loved hunting and he loved finding game and cooking it and bringing it home to his dad. Jacob loved hanging around the tents. He loved being with his mom. He liked cooking there. And over time, Esau became Isaac's favorite and Jacob became Rebekah's favorite. Now, listen, most of our parents now work very hard not to have favorites. Your parents love you. But in this time, parents had favorites. And Isaac loved Esau and Rebecca loved Jacob. Now, they grew up, they kept going their own ways. When they were men, there was a story that happened about something called a birthright. Birthright is a very strange thing. The birthright meant that when the parents died, whoever had the birthright got twice as much stuff as everybody else. And so it was a pretty important thing to have. And Esau, remember, was the oldest brother by about 15 seconds. And so he had the birthright. That sometime way down the road, when Isaac and Rebekah died, Esau would get twice as much of their stuff as Jacob would. He had the birthright. So one day Esau was out hunting. And he's a grown man. He should know better, right? This is a story of foolishness. This is a story of dumbness. Esau was out hunting. And he, he came back and he was just hungry, hungry, hungry. And Jacob had been cooking. Jacob had made some really nice red beef stew and he had cooked some bread and it was really good, the stuff that he had made. And, and Esau said, hey, give me some of that. And I don't know if Jacob was kidding or what, but Jacob said, yeah, sure, if you give me your birthright. And Esau thought to himself, well, I'm going to die. I'm so hungry. So what good to me is a birthright if I die? Sure, you can have my birthright. Jacob, I gotta believe he was shocked. Said, really? You're gonna give me your birthright for a bowl of stew? And Esau said, yeah, give me some of that stew. So Jacob gave Esau some of the stew. And Esau slammed it down. <laughs> Wiped, coughed, right? And that was it. Jacob has the birthright. 
Esau's got a full tummy, but you know, full tummies, you're hungry just a little while later. And very quickly, Esau felt very sorry, very foolish for this decision he'd made. But you know, a promise is a promise. A deal is a deal. You can't go back on a deal. You can't go back on a promise. He'd eaten the stew and he'd given away the birthright. So that's how it was going to be. Esau, the more he thought about it, the madder he got. It was so wrong of his brother to ask him that when he was hungry. It was so wrong. He should have done a lot more thinking about how foolish he'd been. He should have done a lot more thinking about how ridiculous he had been. But, you know, most of us, we're much more comfortable being mad at other people than being mad at ourselves. You think about that. That's something that you and I will work on over time because everybody has to work on that. But Esau got madder and madder, and Jacob just put that birthright in his back pocket. And the two boys continued to live together, but not nearly as happily as they had before. We're going to pick up this story next week. I I'm excited for you to learn all of these stories. And if you wanted to draw me a picture of any part of this today, I would love to see that, right? It can be Esau hunting. It can be Jacob cooking. It can be the two of them selling the birthright for the bowl of stew. Whatever it is that catches your imagination, I would love to get a picture of this family of Isaac, Rebecca, Esau, and Jacob so that I know that you and I are going through this thing together. I hope you are having a wonderful summer. It's August now, which means school is coming before you even know it. So enjoy yourself. Enjoy your freedom. Stay strong. Learn a lot. Obey your parents. And know that Jesus loves you forever. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.